Welcome to this uh, demonstration of the release product of Data's Legacy for DOS Personal. We start after the installation and we now have the register license key screen. We key in the license key and hit enter. And here we go, we have a start. The default username and password is user, user. And we're in. What you see here is uh, a menu document with the main menu of Legacy for DOS. It's very simple. We have uh, our application or session. We have another menu, system menu, and our user-defined menu. If you click on this one, we see that we have the sessions, the menus. See, this is the main menu we can edit. And we have the users. If you click the home button, we go back to the default menu. If you click the edit button, we can edit the menu we're in at the moment. To start, we have to put in our simple test application, which is basically show you how it works, which we can then edit by clicking the edit button behind it. And we have a session name, which is simple test application. We have application name. This is the name of the application in the DOS environment. Uh, we have an application path, which here is uh, local to the application. We have a username password, which is optional, and the rest is basically optional. The only thing you need to put in to get this started is the path and the application name. The rest we do for you. So we just clear up this one. Save and test. And we have a go. Form definition, define a form. Yeah, we can test two, for instance. Test. Yeah, you know the rest. Record entry, test form. You see, nice full screen, clear, beautiful. <laughs> can exit it. And now we want to define our own session. We just go out. We can click at the end button behind any v uh, free menu choice and we get a new session. We call it My Session. We browse for the application. We see here that we bro basically browse through the directories. When we find a data for DOS, old RDR files, we get an RDR up, we click it, and it reads out the information about the application. This is it, we're ready to go. Save and test. We get in. It's user, and we're in. It's not harder than that. No, we might want to print something. If you haven't defined any printers, you basically will get a Windows printer dialog. So we can just do a small print here. It's um, two. And here we go. It spools the print. And soon we will get this one. We can do this print as a PDF, for instance. We can use this one. Yes. And there we go. And here is the resulting PDF. Can it be easier? We can, of course, print to any Windows printer, anywhere in the network, anything we like. Just to show how easy this is, we can do it again. You now see that this is now automatically added into my uh, menu. I can do another one. I can browse for the app. I can find another app. I can do this one, for instance. There we are. Select. Uh, that's it. Don't need anything more. And I think it's. Yeah. You see. Can it be simpler? Thank you for watching this quick demo of Legacy of Us Personal.